Hey, a couple things this morning. Look how much water's gone down. There's kind of an air gap there now. And, and it was brighter between the two big fir trees and right at the tree line behind them. The sun was making an appearance. As you can tell up above. Well, I don't know what today's going to be like. It's like it's foggy up on top of the hill. Excuse me, and mostly blue sky over us now. So. Like 38 degrees, so hey, for some of you who are in the U.S., it's that nice temperature that messes with your sinuses when it's wet. Yeah, I might get the feed barn in that lot right there clean today. There's one empty feeder, and I can get get it moved out and move in between. We will find out. Hey, look at that sunshine again. Actually sprinkled earlier. I'll probably read in about 10, 15 minutes. Becky just took all the Christmas lights out. Off the fence anyway. Made me come up here to help her get them all fished out of this shit. We just got that done. And I've been dealing with those broken straw bales. What fun. It was kind of nice to have the barn for a little bit. Bring something besides straw dust. Let's see what it looks like up here. Yeah, lunch time now. Paint right off and you get to see my face. Just the way it works out. So, yeah, that's a project yet to come. It's probably getting bumped back further. A bunch of straw. But, eh, combine didn't do the greatest on it. We didn't combine it. Lots of broken bales. And if we walk back here and look, look at the back of the tractor. Hmm, it all came from up above. So, it's dig out the solid ones to get to the broken ones. You're the broken ones. Fun. It's all getting out of here one cartload at a time. Until I get enough broken bales out of the way. And I'll put the squeeze on the skid steer and set these others together so I can do something with them. And go from there. Well, there's a hole. There's a the squeeze. Um, out of about 60, 60, 65 straw bales in there. 22 whole ones went up there. Wrecked up and got moved out of there in the cart. There's still two sitting there. Actually, that one underneath the chaff, that came from up there somewhere. And there's three over here with just one twine on them, but they were where I could get a hold of them and pack them over here. You know. So we got lockups down here all bedded. The lower bay in the first section of the cow barn bedded. The lockups the other end of the barn are done. And these guys got some. I kind of wish she'd have gone from the gate here downhill instead of uphill, because that's why those three are there. But they got some. They're happy. Kicking their heels up, having fun. Um, if there's a little part of this video that slipped the other way, that was a TikTok I did earlier. I'll probably throw it in here just because. Becky's out letting the cows into the feed barn. I gotta go up here and feed these kefir calves yet. But they said what to do with this. I'm still gonna end up getting some small bales from Maury because I know we're gonna run out. Get them while he still has some. Probably put them direct on the deck right off the truck. So I'm not really too concerned about putting everything I got up on the deck yet. I put two sets up there. That'll get by for a while. At least for a few days. I haven't been up here to move it yet, which, hey, you know, I may not move it. Go right from where it's at into the feeder. I 
And still got to do something with that broken up mask before it goes any farther. I think I'm going to take those hay bales down there on the floor with all the chaff on top. Set them right up. Now that I got the other out of the way, I can get in there and do that. Because we still need hay there for the maturity pen. And when we get that far, let me get into that. See how much of that's... Yeah, well, I know it's all busted up. I get that cleaned out of there, hopefully. And go from there. And... Oh, uh, they say it's supposed to get cold tonight. 31 degrees in town, that means 28 or less out here. There's not enough cows in that main bunch now. If they don't drink enough at night, that'll freeze up. Two-year-olds the same, especially where it's an overhead line. Calves will probably be all right tonight. They better be. I'm going to uh, close that door when I'm done. That helps it. That was one smart thing we did when we redid all this. We did the concrete where Rainey's laying and over underneath the grain barrel when we put the new grain tank in outside. We put a concrete pad out there for it. And that concrete just goes underneath one side under the deck where the water trough is. Right underneath me. And leads to the gate that goes into there. It's set up so, you know, in the future. Ouch! I gotta remember I'm up here. That hurt. Um, in the future, we can concrete where all that crap right there is and right on through underneath. But, you know, that's in the future. This hasn't happened yet. we got a lot of shit to move out of there before that can happen. It may never happen. I don't know. But anyway, that section of wall where the barrel is used to be three feet farther over. There was a walkway next to the pole, and there was a walkway next to the pole. And when we did it, we just took the wall out, set it to the side, measured everything, poured the concrete so it fit. And when we put it back in, we shoved it clear over. And we got a seven foot hole there. Actually, I think it's seven and a half foot, maybe. Skid steer six feet wide. That's why we did it. I come straight in and put hay or straw up here on the deck. What we used to do if the barn was clean enough, we'd come in that gate over there, but we had to take that gate off, come in and turn and set it up here, set it on the catwalk, but sitting on the catwalk is kind of sketchy when you're setting that much weight on it all at once. I mean, it's stout enough to handle it, but... So, anyway, that's enough of me gabbing. Why? Because these ladies, even though they still have some hay in the feeder, I may not give them as many bales tonight. Save my back a little bit more. Cause they still have quite a bit. I was surprised they had as much left as they did this morning. But, uh, I still got to throw at least some in for them. And more of the same tomorrow. At some point, either tomorrow or Monday, we got to deliver a couple of steers. And I think that's the last of the steers we got to deliver I think you know, the bad thing with all the smaller processors getting slammed last year and a half is uh, guys who normally don't have trouble calling to get a date they call and oh well you're six months out before you can get in well that screws us up too you know, these guys used to take their animals October November when we weaned and now, you know, they've got two full-sized ones sitting there through December. Um, he, the last guy, he's finally got his, rid of his, and got his barn ready for more, so. But, you know, with uh, recent events, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That's kind of thrown a monkey wrench into a lot of things. Not real sure if how much number one's going to be out here because Maury needs her help, his help, her help, whatever. Because God knows Maury's mom's not in any condition to help him with all the billing and scheduling and that kind of thing. So, you know, it is what it is. And of course, number two, having her new job, 
plus still working for Maury, and she worked for Maury today, and I just heard a little bit ago she's done up there for the day, and she's headed to the winery to go help out there a little bit. I don't get to see her much. She's got to work for Maury again tomorrow, too. Good thing is, Maury knows I need my pickup once in a while, and he told her today, he says, hey, that old Ford Dooley's still sitting there. It hasn't been towed. Nobody's drove it in three weeks. If you want to drive it for a while, so I don't know if she's going to do that or not. Is Was it a 450, I think? It might be a 550. I don't know. All I know is uh, he pulled our camp trailer. Uh, you can't see it, bright light. He pulled our camp trailer down here from Everett, Washington, I think is where we got that. And all he had to say was, that son of a bitch is heavy. And he's got a heavy truck. So, anyway. Yeah, call it a day. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thank you again for all the well wishes and prayers. I've made sure to pass those on. They're very, very, very much appreciated.